G'day guys, welcome back into another video on the channel and in today's video I will be doing my round 19 AFL tips and predictions and also going through my round 18 tips and seeing how I went. So before we get into this video, can you please subscribe to the channel below? Um, we are on the road to 1k and also if we do get to 1k, I will be giving away a box of footy cards. Or if the season's over already, I won't. I'll do something else. I'll figure something else out. So let's get straight into seeing how I went for round 18. Alrighty, round 18. I did not do too bad. Not too good either. I only got 5 out of the 9. I did tip a few upsets that I did not think were going to happen, but they did. Um, so yeah, let's go through the game. So Thursday night, we started off with a cracker. Um... Sydney ended up getting the drop on my two points. That's the first tip I got right. The Bulldogs, ended, yeah, they lost by two points. Very heartbreaking for them. Um, but the Swans definitely owned the free kick count. And, just, yeah, they, they said it all. I didn't watch too much of this game. I watched I watched enough to, to know that um, the Swans probably did deserve to win. Right to the Friday night. In my tips, I did tip the Ds. But um, I changed it on the Friday to the Lions. And they only lost by one point in one of the probably the best Friday night games we'll see all year. 105 to 104, high scoring at the G. How good was this? Um, came down to a Jakey Melcham um, moment, ice in the veins sort of play. Set shot from about 45 out, 45 meter angle, and just fades late in. And yeah, the D's hold on um, with about a minute to go. And win a classic Friday night game of footy at the MCG. Now moving on to the Saturday um, games, 145 at the G. Um, we got the Pies beat the Dockers. Did tip the Pies, and yeah, the Dockers, they, they just did not complete after that first quarter. That first quarter, it was very even, 25 apiece or something like that. Extremely even um, by the Pies. And yeah, they ended up sticking it out and winning by about 50 points. Now this next game, pissing me off a bit, but at the same time it doesn't for the latter wise. Suns v Saints got this tip wrong. I went, um, yeah, the Suns ended up winning this game by 26 points, 77 to 51. I knew it would be a low-scoring game, but I didn't reckon the Saints would not compete. They would not fight. They just played horrible. Absolutely horrible. 35 at Marble Stadium. We've got one of the best upsets all year. The Blues v Port Adelaide. The Blues were like $3 to win. Port Adelaide, they were like $1.10 or something. They were such high odds to win this game. They've won 12 in a row. They've won like 11 in a row at Marvel Stadium. It was generally insane. And they did end up winning. They ended up winning this game by 50 points. They ended up thumping the power. Absolutely thumping. Stringing that, those two streaks apart. Um, and the yeah, the power played the worst they played all year. Easily by far. Only scoring 72. They, they just got absolutely thrashed. They did not compete. Um, like the Blues did, they ended up winning 122 to 72. It's just that is they really did not look like they were going to win at all. Any no signs of anything good happening for Port Adelaide, but obviously they are still second on the ladder, so it is good for them. They did have seven outs going to that game as well, or seven changes, which probably will affect how they play with new players coming in and old players that have played when they're winning going out. Moving on to the. Um, Cats v the Bombers game. I streamed this game. I loved it to bits. 122 to 45. Um, absolutely love this game to bits. 122 to 45. We just played absolutely amazing all day. Hawkins kicked five, and we rise to the table of fifth. And um, yeah, if the if the D's ended up losing that game, we still had a chance at top four, which would have been absolutely immaculate. We probably would have missed a pies in a qualifying final again. And the Pies could have gotten, they could have gotten their revenge on us, which I wouldn't have minded because I don't think we deserve to make it to a prelim this year. We just haven't played the same. The games we've dropped, the, some of the games we have won have been really good, but some of the games we've dropped, we should, should we probably should have won them. Um, next game, Adelaide v GWS. Um, another upset. GWS ended up getting the job done by like 14 points. Um, yeah, the Crows were leading at some stages of that um, last quarter, but they ended up losing and choking that lead. And yeah, the Giants just played a lot better. 14 point win for them, and that's five wins in a row for them as well. Um, packing them to ninth on the ladder, which is absolutely amazing for their standards to see how they could potentially do in finals if they make it, because they still are a chance for it. Sunday games now, 110. Both these games were absolutely rubbish. 110 at Marvel, we had North Melbourne v Hawthorne. Hawks end up getting the job done by 48 points. Um, nothing really happened um, by North Melbourne. North Melbourne just played absolutely horrible. 
Hawks, very inaccurate. They were three goals, third down at one stage. They were absolutely horrendous with their goal kicking. But, um, yeah, that, that's something they do need to improve. They need to improve their goal kicking and their accuracy, which I guess is fine. They can improve on that slowly. Obviously, they aren't going to make finals this year. They can get a few more wins on the board, maybe rise up to 15th or 14th. That could be good for them. But, um, yeah, I don't think they'll be there. I reckon they'll stay around the 16th mark and rebuild a bit more. They are doing a very nice job rebuilding, though, because some of these wins they've gotten this season have been pretty good, um, if I say so myself. Now, 440 at Optus Stadium. We had West Coast v. Richmond. This was horrendous, this game. 98 to 60. 38 point win for the Tigers. I don't reckon they deserved to win by 38 points. I reckon they only deserved to win by about 15, 20 points. They just played horrendous against West Coast. They couldn't do much right. Their accuracy was bad as well. And they've also risen, uh, rose to 11th as well in the ladder. And uh, still a chance at finals as well. So pretty good for them. Alrighty, Friday night. No Thursday night footy this week, which I'm really sad about. Because I did like Thursday night footy coming home from school on a Thursday night after footy training. And tucking into some Thursday night footy. But Friday night footy at Marble Stadium, 7.50. We've got the Bombers beat the Doggies. Very top, tight race, I reckon. The Bombers will lose this, though. The Dogs will win by 12 points. And, um, yeah, we will see how this game turns out. There is a chance the Bombers could win, because they normally do snag wins that they're not really meant to be getting. Like, a, a random win, one of those random wins that you wouldn't expect them winning. But I'm going to back in the Doggies by 12 points. Saturday afternoon, 41-45 at the G. We've got the Tigers v. the Hawks. And I'm going to back the Tigers to win this game by 25 points. I reckon they will hold on and get another win. I think that's potentially three or four wins in a row from the Tigers. That new coach is doing him quite well. I think Andrew McWalter or something like that has definitely doing bits for them club, that club. But um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Now, 2-10 at, at Marvel Stadium. We have the Blues v. West Coast. And I'm tipping the Blues to get the job done by 47 points. Obviously, they will smash them. But um, they'll absolutely annihilate them like I did last time. Um, but they they won't do as well. West Coast are competing. They are definitely competing. They're playing a lot better footy than what they were doing about five or six weeks ago. Playing ups after that Saints game, I reckon they got a bit of hope that they could win another game or two to end this season. But it's not looking too good now. I reckon they'll win by 47 points now, the Blues. And Colonel will probably bag a bag of five or something like that. Next game, 435 at the Gabba. We've got the Lions via the Catters. I know this is, does sound a bit biased, but I'm going to back our Catters to win this game. And we're going to win this game by four points in a very good game of footy in the Gabba. I know we don't win there often in, at the Gabba. Obviously, Ash, you remember Ash McGrath. Um, you, you you probably remember a few years ago, Lincoln McCarthy. Um, you remember a few annihilations there as well from uh, um, from us losing. But I do back us in. I do think we will and have a chance have a chance of winning this game. Seven forty at Optus Stadium. Um, Freo v Sydney. I'm going to tip the Dockers. I know it's one one ninety a piece, which is quite good. But I'm tipping the Dockers to win this game by five points. At a classic in Optus, at Optus Stadium. They don't normally lose those close ones at Optus Stadium. Um, Freo, but I reckon um, they will just snag a, a win like normal. Between these two clubs, it's normally a close, low-scoring game. And I reckon Freo finally bag one of these close ones against the Swans. 7.40 at the Adelaide Oval. we got Port Adelaide v Collingwood. And I know Collingwood are all right there, but Port Adelaide don't lose there often either. So I'm going to hit the Port Adelaide Power by four points as well. And um, yeah, um, players like Zachy Butters and Connor Rosie will probably step up in that midfield again. And Nick Dacos in that back line has got to be very hard to get a mark or to get a free play and shot at goal. But um, I reckon it'll be one of the better games of the year. It, it does have the potential to be one of the worst games of the year because that normally the overhyped games like this, like these two, um, like these games... They normally don't. Then they're normally not a good game. They're normally just an absolute smashing by the team that's probably expected to win. One ten at Monica over. We got the Giants v the Suns and ninth v thirteen. If the Giants win this, I reckon this is six in a row for them. And how good would that be for their um, finals chances? Um, especially Mato two three four. He will be absolutely ecstatic and very happy over his team if his team make finals. And then, even though they're predicted to come 18th on the ladder by most people, and the Giants will win the game by 17 points. Now moving on to another another 3:20 game by the Days um, on a Sunday afternoon. I reckon this could be a good game. 
Days will win the Days will win this game though. Yeah, the Days will win this game. They will end up winning this game by 17 points. And uh, yeah, the last game of the of the round 19, we've got 440 at Marvel Stadium. We've got the Saners v North Melbourne. And I reckon the Saints will obviously easily win. It'll be one of those low-scoring, scrappy games once again, because that's what Saints do. They don't play well against the shit clubs. And the Saints will end up winning by 27 points in probably a relatively low-scoring game as well. But, yeah, they are my round 19 tips. I do hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you can please like and subscribe to this channel, that will be absolutely amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.